Lawwin Media Network. Bringing to you the most relevant content across all platforms. Business, legal, politics, health, lifestyle, and entertainment. Your source for all the news and updates in the greater Houston community from Texas and all over the world. Get informed and empowered with Lawwin Media Network. The following program is produced by Law & Media Network. The views and opinions expressed in this program are solely those of the individuals appearing on the show and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of Law & Media Network, its affiliates, sponsors, or partners. The content provided in this program is intended for informational and entertainment purposes only. Law & Media Network does not guarantee the accuracy, completeness, or timeliness of the information. Hi, MJ. I, I, okay. So you're in already. All right. Good evening, everyone. And good morning, Philippines. Welcome to the second episode of season three for Be Bold. Why not? And you are watching us live on Facebook, YouTube, stream.lawing.live, and twitch.tv. And if you miss our live show, you can listen to our podcasts at Spotify, Google Podcasts, Amazon Podcasts, iHeartRadio, and a lot more. So tonight, we continue with our theme for the season, which is leading with passion. So we are guesting for the rest of the season, including tonight, leaders in the community. And I had the privilege of attending an awarding of English leaders in the community this past Saturday. But before we get there, I would like to again remind our viewers that we actually have a game for the show. So let's show them the mechanics. All right, well, <laughs> let me just tell you the mechanics of the game, okay. The more comments you do or you have on our Facebook page or on YouTube, you will have the opportunity to enter into a drawing at the end of the show, and we will send you a special gift. So to our viewers, we encourage you to please comment. Have If you have questions, if you want, just want to do a shout out to your friends, family, feel free to do so. So you will be entered in our game for tonight. And congratulations to the winner in our first episode of season three, Mr. Ricky Ginhawa. Please check your message. I sent you your gift or your prize. So again, tonight we are privileged to have a very, very special guest. Well, let me just read some of her accomplishments. Where our guest for tonight was the 2014 or sorry, 2024 recipient of Knights of Rizal, Texas Area Foundation, Jose P. Rizal Excellence Award for Leadership and Community Service. She holds leadership and advisory roles within several distinguished organizations. She serves as the legal advisor of the Philippine American Council of Texas and Knights of Rizal, Texas, uh, Texas Area Foundation. She is the current chairperson of the Philippine American Civic and Cultural Committee operating under the City of Houston Controller's Office. Her involvement extends into the University of the Philippines Alumni Association of America, where she served as National Legal Counsel and currently Regional Vice President for the Lower Central Region and a member of the Executive Board of Directors. 
Concurrently, she holds the first vice president position for the Philippines Alumni Association Houston chapter. She was the immediate past region chairperson of the Philippine American Chamber of Commerce, Greater Houston Region, and presently serving as a board of director. She previously served as a board of director for the Coalition of Filipino American Chambers of Commerce. Her legal volunteer work with the Houston Bar Association, Houston Volunteer Lawyers, Baker Ripley, Catholic Charities USA, and Mosaic Family Services Incorporated underscores her unwavering dedication to social justice and support for immigrants and vulnerable populations. She has been an advocate against human trafficking and family violence and an active member and a supporter of Texas Council on Family Violence. She is a managing partner at Ligot Dizon Law Firm in Houston, Texas, with her main practice on divorce and family law, estate planning and probate, and family and business immigration. She is the chief executive officer and president of Lawin Media Network Corporation. Wow, that's a lot of accolades. Oh my gosh. We are honored and privileged to have in our show tonight the one and only superwoman, Attorney Eileen Deason. Welcome to the show, Attorney Eileen. Hello, MJ. Thank you for having me here in your people uh, season three. So I'm excited to be here. Tonight, although I'm already there the entire time. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, that's why I was like, okay. Anyway, we are so happy, or I am so glad to have you tonight. I know you have appeared in the show in the previous seasons, but we did not really get to know you that much. You were just like, you know, we did some co-hosting together. You kind of pop in and out on the show, but tonight we are actually focusing on getting to know you and i know i'm a lot older than you so i'm like and at your don't age even go there mj with that age thing don't yeah but but at your age i mean it's like you have accomplished a lot but before we get to those um achievements that you have your community involvement and of course about Lawin Media Network, where, which you are the president and currently the CEO. We want to know you first. Like, where did where are you from? The Philippines. I just I'm just curious. Well, I was born in Manila, so my mom is from Bicol. Mm -hmm. My 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 father is from Pangasinan. So, mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. they met in the I think in Manila area. <laughs> So that's where I was born. That's where they started their uh, family. It's our family. Mm -hmm. But um, I grew up in Pangasinan most of my, uh, you know, my youth times, you know, in Pangasinan. Mm -hmm. And I, I studied in Baguio. So I learned uh, uh, the dialects, uh, Pangasinense and um, Ilocano. And of mm -hmm. course, Tagalog, right? Yeah. Um, Bicolano, mm, not not really, <laughs> because my mom, she's more of uh, Tagalog, and, and then mm -hmm. you know, and then very in uh, in, in Pangasinan area. Yeah, yeah. How many siblings do you have? I have three. Mm -hmm. so I have one brother. I'm the eldest, by the way. Oh. And then I have uh, one brother after me, and then I have two other sisters. Mm -hmm. Did you always want to become a lawyer? I'm just curious because you know when we're growing up, like when I grow up, I want to become a superstar. I want to become a singer and actress. Did you always say when people ask you growing up that you wanted to become a lawyer? I can't really remember, but I want <laughs> like the, the details because when you are young, you know most mostly you are influenced by your parents, right? What they tell mm -hmm. you to. Right. What do you want to be is what my parents wanted me to be. At that time, my, my father wanted me to be a doctor. But I've always, you know, uh, I always look amazed, you know, when I see women with nice suits, you know, not not the white gown. <laughs> so, and I, and I said to myself, I'd like to be like that in the future, which, you know, later on I learned they're lawyers. But, you know, you know when, when mm -hmm. I was 
at a young age, I always look at, you know, I, I see that there, there's something in that suit. And mm -hmm. later on, I realized that something that I was, you know, uh, admiring when I was mm -hmm. little was not really yet just because the suit is really nice, but it's the power there. There's mm -hmm. something there, right, in that suit. So anyway, just that's um, later on. <laughs> I don't know. I, I love teaching when I was a kid. I love to teach uh, little kids. Mm -hmm. You know, I love to advocate with you know, for for some other kids. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you see yourself, you know, doing different roles. Mm -hmm. And that's when, that's when you start weaving your dreams, I guess, or your plans in the future. Yeah. So it seems like uh, growing up, you were actually getting prepared to be a lawyer because, as you just said, you loved advocating for other people. It's like, wow. So you wanted to. <laughs> well, um, I don't know. I, I, I really wanted to be a speaker because I grew up as a speaker. But anyhow, I had to become a nurse. We have a comment here. Okay, from Joanne Estaria. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Joanne. And thank you so much for watching us again. So growing through like so elementary, high school, and college, while growing up, did you hold some like... Um, positions in school because you know we have like class president or school organizations did you hold some of those positions while in school well yes of course i mean you know when you're in elementary you always have this school body right mm -hmm. you know so i can't remember but i think from president yata ko ng class all the time and i was especially when i was in elementary um because it's about first I think first grade and gang sixth grade tayo, diba? During that mm -hmm. time in the yes, yeah. So yeah, I think because there's a and then meron yung um, parang national body. I can't remember the terms anymore, but yes, yung mga president or mm -hmm. or chairman magenia ng class. And then my and then when I, I remember it's a high school na my talagang may election ng mga kampanya ka. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's right. So I can see, I can see you being so. Were you always this like you express yourself really well, and you, and you know, since I'm talkative, di ba di ba sa school don? Merong merong mga award pa na mo. Yung mine, ano ang award ko naman don is um, because I I I usually compete. Yung mga oratorical competition, declamation, mga ganon. Ah, yon. So I compete. So I'm. You know, I really wanted to, um, but I'm express myself through those kind of um, uh, competitions. Mm -hmm. I know pa bala balagtasan pa so mali pa ako sa balagtasan. Alam mo yung balagtasan? Yeah, yeah. Very poetic. It is oh, how you yeah. how so yeah. you compete in in that way. <laughs> Pareho pala tayo. So you grew up in oratorical speaking and declamation yeah. oh my gosh yeah. we're, we're kind of the same and then i i thought that growing up too i think i wanted to be a lawyer or a journalist but of course i had to sacrifice that dream but so in high school and college did you pursue more of your speaking like yes because i'm competitions na yun eh. Mm -hmm. So that's why I know that I'm in line with all this, I know, <laughs> this um, art. I think that we call it arts, art of speaking, mm -hmm. art of acting. And then, um, believe it or not, I won a Best Actress Award when I was in high school. <laughs> <laughs> so ano pala, you really wanted to be... Alam mo, but I am a stage play sa school, uh -huh. mga ganyan. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So actually, ano rin ako, um, parang sa journalism din na, mm -hmm. na field because we do have our uh, school paper, di ba? Pero mm -hmm. I remember na-assign ako sa sports na wala naman akong kaalam-alam, but I, have, I was forced to learn. <laughs> you know, well, sports, well, ganyan. Yeah. Kaya when I, when I applied for college sa UP, di ba sa UP when you apply for admission test, di ba? You have to but you're uh, not three options yung mm -hmm. priority mo diba number one kani yung gusto mo talaga mapasukan and then meron kang dalawang alternatives so my dad filled up that or no that um application and he chose talaga is um, bs biology because he wanted me to be a doctor 
And then yung pangalawa, syempre kailangan ko mamili, di ba, ng dalawa. So I put the second one in, was political science and the third, uh, mass communication. <laughs> I love <laughs> that. I was sa una, kaysa ko, sayang naman. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I know we have more comments and we're actually should be going on a break now. But let me read the comments first uh, from Mark Carlo De Seco. Good evening, Texas, watching from Pangasinan. Thank you so much, Mark. And then, of course, Jojo Canaria. Hello. Good morning to all. Good morning, Jojo. So it seems like um, we had the same interests. But anyway, I think we'll continue more to learn about you when we come back for for a short break so let's see you in a bit really flies but anyhow we have a lot of comments okay let me read them before i ask you the next question geraldine garcia good morning po miss mj and miss eileen watching from villasis pangasinan and then of course tita Te delia ligot good evening texas hello mj and eileen god be with you always thank you po tita delia <laughs> Yeah. Yes, yes. And of course, Attorney Orly. Oh my God, he has a very, very long comment. Okay. Huh? <laughs> let me let me read. Okay, Attorney Orly. <laughs> Can you read it? Okay. I know reasons why actors and educators make great courtroom litigators. One, strong communication skills. Actors are skilled in delivering persuasive speeches and portraying emotions effectively, while educators excel in explaining complex ideas clearly. Both abilities are crucial for courtroom litigators to communicate effectively with the judge and jury. Number two, ability to engage. Actors and educators are adept at engaging with their audience, whether it's a classroom of students or a theater full of spectators. In a courtroom setting, this skill helps them capture the attention of the jury and maintain their interest throughout the trial. Number three, empathy and understanding. Both actors and educators have a deep understanding of human emotions and behaviors, allowing them to empathize with clients, witnesses, and jurors. This empathy, wow, where am I? <laughs> This empathy can be instrumental in building rapport and credibility during legal proceedings. Number four, quick thinking and adaptability. Actors are trained to think on their own feet and adapt to unexpected situations on stage, while educators often face unforeseen challenges in the classroom. These experiences equip them with the agility needed to respond to unforeseen developments during a trial. Number five, storytelling abilities. Actors excel in storytelling, bringing characters and narratives to life, while educators are skilled in structuring information in a coherent and compelling way. 
in the courtroom, these storytelling abilities help litigators present their case in a compelling manner that resonates with the jury. Number six, analytical skills. Educators are trained to analyze information critically and draw logical conclusions, which is essential for building a strong legal argument in court. Actors also possess analytical skills honed through script analysis and character development. The combination of strong communication skills, engaging presence, empathy, quick thinking, storytelling abilities, and analytical skills makes actors and educators well suited for the demanding role of courtroom litigators. Wow. I do have one, MJ. <laughs> and that, that only shows, Eileen, how much attorney early early is in love with you it seems like you captivated him through your acting and education <laughs> skills well actually I, you know let me tell you something about that um attorney early yeah something about attorney early. <laughs> the truth is um he actually was the one who uh encouraged me that much to pursue law school mm -hmm. you know because he and i when we were in college um, his undergraduate was uh, BS Biology. And that was my undergraduate as well. Uh -huh. So when we graduated from, you know, from BS Biology, I mean, from undergraduate with a degree of BS Biology, um, we went to law school after that. So sabay kami. Uh -huh. Because, you know, he, uh, I, although I already have that in my, maybe within me, but it was, I was convinced even more to, yeah, let's go to law school. So that's why I talked to my my tatay then and I told him, atay, um, maglo-law school na ako. <laughs> Tsaka siyempre, in love ka kay Orly, kaya siyempre susunod ka. Uh, Pwede na rin. <laughs> <laughs> Pero, ang usapan na ni Noy, we cannot be classmates you know, sa law school. Uh -huh. So, sa same law school, pero mag magkaiba kami ng, mga, ng class namin. Um, kasi mahirap na ba mapag, you know, mahirapan pa kami sa klase pag nandun kami pa <laughs> Wow, that's a beautiful story. So after you graduated from law and you passed the bar exam and everything, what did you do in the Philippines before coming into the United States? Of course, you know, what else are you going to do if you're a lawyer, right? So do your law lawyering job, right? Well, I work at the Court of Appeals as a court, of, a court attorney there. Mm -hmm. And that's when I, you know, I, I learn a lot about, you know, uh, lawyering. And because so, so, uh, I'm a court attorney, so I was trained to be neutral. Mm -hmm. Because I am not advocating for any clients at that time. So Court of Appeals, because it's not appeal. Yun. Mm -hmm. So we're more on looking at both sides. So I was trained to look at uh, both sides. What do you have here on this side? What do you have here on this side? What, what, you know, like what are the facts of the case and how do you apply the law on those facts? And then we make, we, we help out in making decisions. So we, uh, I handled the um, land titles, land issues there mm -hmm. and <clears throat> family law as well, you know, annulment. Mm -hmm. uh, those abilities because walang divorce, right? So I handled an uh, and labor uh, cases. Ganyan. So mostly doon nag uh, umiikot yung aking uh, word sa Court of Appeals. Okay, wow, wow. Anyway, we have a few more comments. Good evening, Texas, watching from Villasis Pangasinan from Geraldine Garcia. And of course, we have Gio Uranza Garcia. Good job. Hi, Gio. He's watching from Lubbock, Texas. You know, I came from Lubbock, so I know him. Thanks for watching, Gio. And then, of course, Dennis Estariha. Good morning, Texas. Watching from the Philippines. And Jojo Canaria watching show. Wow. So when did you come to the United States and how? What kind of visa did you have coming to the U.S.? Well, um, it's a little bit more unusual that time because that was the time of uh, Obama. So there were a lot of like uh, immigration laws that were quite beneficial to uh, immigrants. So that's how, you know, I was able to, um, we're able to get our green card through mm -hmm. that. Um, but I just, I just want to focus on when we came here, Yeah, you know, like every other immigrants, you know, we start from the beginning, from nothing, right? Because, you know, yeah. even if I'm, I was a lawyer in the Philippines at that time, I am a lawyer at that time. 
when we come here, hindi naman, you know, I'm not going to be a lawyer. I can't practice my 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 law uh-huh. degree. I'm here, my profession. So I have to, like everyone else, start from the from the bottom. Yeah. So what did you do? Like paralegal and all that? Yeah, I did. I went back to school. That's the first thing I did when I had the opportunity was to um, go, go to law school. So that's when I took my Master of Laws at SNU, uh, um, Southern Methodist University in mm-hmm. Dallas area. Mm-hmm. And um, I was very... Uh, fortunate to be able to get into that school because mm-hmm. I ano, marami ako natutunan not just about law but also uh, yung yung that's when I started doing my community service by the way when I was at SMU when mm-hmm. I joined some organizations the international law law students organization ganyan um I was exposed to oh yeah this is US but there's a lot of things happening here you know and we can do more than just being here mm-hmm. if you see something some injustices happening around you, you gotta have to do something. That's kasi doon nagsimula yung, yung passion ko actually to to do community service when I was there. Wow. Um, wow. So, so is it hard to to actually start from scratch? Because I know like medical doctors in the Philippines, just getting into the medical school here is really, really hard. What about with lawyers? Was it very strict and regulations and all that or or the qualification I'm talking about acceptance yeah acceptance to the schools yeah well i think it depends on your background mm-hmm. uh, ako, i'm already a lawyer in the philippines so i only need to uh, submit some requirements are needed as opposed to dun sa talagang wala ka pang degree or or you know um mm-hmm. like i said depending dun sa uh sa sa school and sa degree na kukunin mo. So uh-huh. uh, for me, um, I applied, of course, sa SMU. And then they have to screen you, eh. They have to mm-hmm. see if you're qualified, ganyan, ganyan. Um, and then you have, like like also, yung mga other professions, na nag, uh, if you earn your degree in the Philippines, you have to have your strength script evaluated, di ba? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Para malaman ko makikredit on, on all that. Yeah. So I got in. And then um, the good thing about that, was I was able to uh, 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 I was granted a uh, some sort of scholarship. Mm-hmm. So it's SMU. It is really expensive there. Um, so yung scholarship really helps a lot. Helped a lot mm-hmm. uh, for me to be able to get. In- Okay, and we have we have more comments here. Okay, Joan Estarija says, I'm so happy to watch live today. God bless. Okay, attorney Eileen, what happened there? Anyway, we're back. <laughs> you know, technology, there's always some glitches. In, I know, right? It's uh, very flexible. Yeah, so Joan said, I'm so happy to watch live today god bless thank you jo- Hi, joan yeah, thank you. yeah and then attorney already says we oh can- my gosh <laughs> <laughs> wow it's so expensive you know what education here in the u.s is truly truly expensive i mean like yeah, that's eighty thousand a year of a uh, no yeah. uh, master of laws wow so it's really not cheap education is really not cheap it's an investment yeah. actually yeah. but i you know but for me mm-hmm. i value education so much nj uh-huh. i believe that if you want to change your life education is the key mm-hmm. you have to educate yourself learn more skills mm-hmm. learn more knowledge equip yourself with more of this so you will have a better chance of um improving your life Oh, that's very true. Absolutely. Absolutely. With, you know, although some, 
some billionaires and gurus out there don't even have degrees, but it's different because they're entrepreneurs, right? But if you want to go up the ladder in your career or in your profession, of course, you have to go further with your education as well. Well, we have another comment from the Tate. Oh, Evelyn Twazen. Okay, hello, MJ and Eileen. Hello, po. Good evening. Hello, Mama Bear. <laughs> Nasa Bicol yata si Mama Bear. I know, Tita Tess' sister, right? Yeah. Yes. Maraming. Oh, masarap siyang magluto. Grabe. I know. We miss you, po. And thank you for watching. So now, let's talk about, because, you know, you said that started, starting from your acceptance to the university in Dallas, you started getting involved in community service. So it's a good segue to our um, conversation now because last weekend, you know, I, as I said earlier, I had the privilege of attending the Knights of Rizal um, induction of officers and of course, awarding of leaders in the community. And you were one of the recipients of the excellence award given by the Knights of Rizal. So, Let's talk about your community involvement and how do you manage that? Because I know you have two beautiful children, Gabe and Andrea, you're the little Eileen, right? And but then you also have a lot of community service. Tell us about more about that. Okay, so you want you want us to talk about the award? Yeah, or? let's talk about the award, your excellence award. Okay. And I think we, have, we have some photos, yeah, right? Some, yes. Oh yeah, that one. Okay. So this was the award I received last Saturday. You were there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you were part of that uh, evening, that special night. So mm -hmm. I received this um uh Dr. Seppi Rizal Excellence Award for Leadership and Community Service. And um, of course, there are other awardees during that time. So um, maybe we can share some uh, other pictures here that we have. Yeah, we yeah, have. Let's show them. And I know most of you who got the awards, or if not all of you, I think I know all of you. But you are all really great leaders in the community, and you know, in the profession, in the field that you have. But in community service, you were the one who. Are, who is most qualified for this award, right? That's why you- I'm sure there are others there. Uh, it's probably, mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's a lot of community serv uh, servants here in our mm -hmm. area. You are, you yourself is a community, is, you know, you're doing something for the community. This is a community service, to be honest, right? There's a lot of ways. There's a lot of potentials. Just a shepherd, diba? Um, you'll never know when the time na may recognition ginawa mo. And I'm really, I really appreciate Knights of Rizal, Texas uh, Area Foundation for recognizing me as one of uh, those who do community service. And um, Although hindi na mataga kailangan, but sometimes it feels good when your uh, your work is being noticed by others, right? And um, the other thing is, you are being used as an instrument also to inspire others to do the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you know. Um, well, communities like I mentioned to you earlier, it started when I was in Dallas. I I joined. Um, not joined, but I volunteered in a nonprofit organization there that's actually Mose Family Services. Uh, they help victims of uh, traffic, uh, trafficking, mm -hmm. both labor and sex uh, trafficking, and also victims of domestic violence. So that's when I started to, you know, um, love community service, mm -hmm. having that feeling of fulfillment that you're able to do something for others. No, walang bayad that they're makikita mo yung genuine um, uh, expression ng mga tao na natulungan mo. They're very thankful. And ang sabi ko nga, uh, if you help one person, you're not only helping that person, but you're also you're helping the entire community because that person has a family, loved one, friends, you know, colleagues, uh, bahay neighbors, right? So you affect all these people. So if you help one person. You're helping the entire community, mm -hmm. and so to next start yung akin advocacy uh, ag against uh, human oppression mm -hmm. and yung domestic violence and all that. Mm -hmm. So when we moved to Houston, bakit kami na sa Houston when we were in Dallas? Um, my husband um, uh, 
uh, went to University of Houston. He took up his Master of Laws there. So, syempre, sama kami dito, di ba? And then, we kind of love the place. Iba yung dati ng Houston. So, we decided to settle here. Hanggang ngayon, nandito ka, ano, obviously. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which I am so thankful that I did because nakilala ko yung malaking Filipino community. Mm-hmm. And then I saw an opportunity to help others when I met with all this 50 plus Filipino organizations here in Houston. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and be, you know, I've, I've been with you with, of course, with the Philippine American Chamber of Commerce, Greater Houston Region, and you are the pa- immediate past president. And truly, I mean, we, we were calling you as a superwoman because it's like you always had the energy. You were all, you always had the agility to like do things and you actually laid the foundation for for the chamber. You have like, you were very innovative. Like even with technology, you set us up or you set up the Philippine American Chamber of Commerce. And we're very, very grateful for that. So it's just one of those many organizations that you are you are helping or you have helped or you've made a difference. And you're right, helping even just one person or one life that's changed because of your kindness, because of your service. It's like it changes the whole community as you're right, it changes the whole family. And also it trickles down to the generations that are to come, right? Because if you improve one's life, they improve their family life and then they improve their future as well. So you are really an a true leader by heart, by deed, by action, everything. Do you have anybody that you look up to as a leader in in history? Like whoever that person can you share to us? Who do you look up to as a leader? Oh, there's a lot of them. <laughs> But maybe I'll name three. Yeah, yeah. First one, uh, um, si you know, uh, Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi. You know, I I always love what he says about change. You know that um, you must be the change you wish to see in the world. Wow. Because you know, if I see something that is not working, why stay with that if it's not working? You know, change it. But you're not gonna expect others to do it, tiba. Kasi ma-prophesate ka lang if that's not their priority or that's not what they wanted to do. Diba? Yung, if you cannot control, dapat hindi ka ma, 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 ma depress or... Mm-hmm. Don't be mistreated. disappointed. Yeah, don't be disappointed. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Um, so, gawin mo na lang. Kau na lang mag-start ng change. So, and, and I think if the people will see it uh, from within you, the change is coming from within you, mag makikita nila yung result mm-hmm. ma encourage mo sila na hindi mo kailang sabihin sa la hey gawin niyo to kasi mm-hmm. you're already doing it and you're showing it to them and they love what they're seeing from you they'll follow you mm-hmm. so yun yung you know uh, Gandhi yung ano naman uh, is <laughs> well hindi naman sa lahat ng mga ginawa niya sa buhay <laughs> but it's about um yung kanyang leadership mm-hmm. siguro The, uh, with the Winston Churchill, mm-hmm. uh, it's not like you, like I said, hindi lahat ng ginawa ng tao gusto mo, right? But only a part of his um, advocacy. Yun yung nagustuhan ko na mm-hmm. katulad nung sinabi niya na we make a living by what we get, diba? by not what we get, but by what we give. Mm-hmm. So in line with sa you know kay Gandhi, na um, if you want that change to happen make it happen. Look at what, you know, hindi naman lahat ng ginawa magaganda, di ba? Mm-hmm. You just look at that part of his life that you can, you know, that you can adopt your life to make that change happen. Mm-hmm. But most of all, I see RG, uh, uh, Ruth, uh, Justice Ruth mm-hmm. Ginsburg. If you haven't watched yung kanyang life story sa Netflix, go ahead and, I think sa Netflix yun eh, go ahead and watch it because to me, that's very inspirational and I was able to relate a lot about yung life ko sa life niya. Aside from the fact na lawyer din yung asawa niya mm-hmm. <laughs> and tax lawyer din yung asawa niya, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, na-inspire ko sa kanyang advocacy to uh, see, to fight for women's rights, to fight for equality. Although really, it's hard to get that. But mm-hmm. it takes only one, you know, it takes one step at a time. Mm-hmm. 
Kahit na naman wala, nararoon, di ba? Yeah. So, yung pagiging matapang ba, nakatakot kasi dito. Like, I, I remember somebody told me, wow, bili ba kasi ang lakas ng loob mo dyan sa US to practice and all that, di ba? Um, sa totoo lang, meron din nagsabi sa akin na lakas lang ng loob yan. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, be bold. Kaya nga tayo, this is our show. Be bold, right? Be bold. Just, Why not? Why not? It's like just one step. Just that one step can make a big difference. Because imagine if there are things that you've been wanting to do in life and you failed to do them. You know, I I love what Les Brown's analogy or like uh, he said in one of the speeches or, you know, when I attended his, his uh, training live, that imagine like when you are already in your deathbed. Of course, we don't want that now, but say in, in you're in death in your deathbed, and the peop- the things that are surrounding you in your deathbed are saying like your dreams. Say for example, you wanted to be a lawyer and you didn't do it, and then you wanted to pursue your speaking and you don't do it. You didn't do it. There's so many things that you wanted to do in life and you never did any of them. And it's like they're all blaming you in like why didn't you do this why didn't you do what you wanted to do so whatever that something that you are have been wanting to do in your life just do the step i mean even those small steps at a time small steps can accumulate into big wins so that's why we're here in be bold and that's why i'm doing this too See, I'm a nurse by profession, right? And I could just be a nurse. I like just enjoy my life being a nurse, you know, work in this. But just like you, Attorney Eileen, I love what I do. And it's it's my own little way of serving people. I mean, I'm here to encourage, empower, motivate, inspire, because we all have beautiful stories that we can share that can inspire other people. And imagine just one life, as you said, that you can change. We can be life changers. We can be catalysts for positive change in this world. I'm just so glad to be part of, you know, your circle because you are inspiring me to do what I ha- I want to do in life. And I know you've told me so many times, MJ, just do it. <laughs> you've been so encouraging to me too. But yeah, I mean, it's so amazing that um, you are what you are. You are your authentic self and you're showing the world what you can do and this is very like empowering for all the people out there who are watching us right now well we have another comment from dennis esteria i'm so happy to listen to your live today thank you so much dennis thank you very much so other than those three i think i had i asked a question so how do you balance your life as a mom and a community servant a lawyer and all that i know you have two beautiful children gabe and andrea how do you balance your life with all these things that you're doing schedule <laughs> you gotta have to have a good calendar uh-huh. You know, but be, because of technology, hindi na mahirap gawin yun. So, mm-hmm. I try to structure my my daily life. Um, kasi if you don't, so good, I think it's being organized. Uh-huh. I I am, I advocate for org- being organized. Kasi sa tingin ko, that's how you prepare for every everything in your life. Like, what time are you going to wake up? You know, what time are you going to do this? What, what time are you going to... Uh, go away, right? Do your grocery, ganyan. So sometimes okay din yung unplanned, but you gotta have to have a plan. Mm-hmm. You know? So hindi pwedeng basa-basa na lang dyan na, oh, today I wanna go to the mall. Or today, magkapag-grocery nga today. No, hindi ganon. Especially if you are you are uh, playing so many uh, roles in life. You're know, wearing so many hats. Mm-hmm. Um, kailangan mo nang the structured calendar of your events para wala kang makalimutan. Yun. And of course, aside from that, you gotta have to have the support of the people around you. Mm-hmm. Kaya ako, um, I can say na my husband, talagang he truly supports lahat. He's a very supportive husband. Um, I'm not gonna be able to do any of this without his support. So you gotta your partner must support what you're doing. Otherwise, 
something is going to fail along the way and you're not going to be prosperous you know you're not going to be successful in what you do if um your partner is not with you because mm -hmm. especially my kids style if i'm going to attend an event who's going to take care of our kids Mm -hmm. so somebody has a sex. That's why I said I was able to relate much to buhay ni um, Justice Ginsburg kasi ganun yung ginawa ng kanyang partner in life. Kaya naging very successful siya, naging Supreme Court Justice siya dito sa US sa tulong din ng kanyang partner, ng kanyang husband. So mm -hmm. talaga, ganun talaga yun eh because you're na, it's hard for you to be there together. Kaya nagtatanong ka, Pati ko lang nagatin ng event. <laughs> wala na din mabi here kung wala magbabad na isang mga anak namin, di ba? Uh -huh. And and that's uh, the the uh, that's how we um we organize our uh, activities. We help each other. Pag siya rin naman, she, he has to attend an event, he has to attend a program. You know, I have to give way. So we have to adjust our schedule. Kaya yung schedule talaga dito sa US is very important. Di ba nga we need at least two weeks of notice if you want to invite us to an event you know mm -hmm. the mga, um, sudden change it affects a lot of um it affects the schedule of a person we have to be respectful of uh the time of each person here because that's how it works here diba? we have a plan already in place yeah. yep yep that's right so those tips had huh? so for those people are around like watching, if you have a busy schedule as attorney Eileen, you have to organize. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, like what time are you going to wake up? Like 4 o'clock? This is my wake up time. First 15 minutes, make coffee, ganyan, or a little bit of exercise. And then after 15 minutes, check your social media, ganyan. And after that, you know, you have to have that structure. Um, means, parang minsan mahirap sundan, pero hindi mo naman lagi nasusunod yun, right? May mga changes na nangyari sa boy mo, but at least you have a guide. Pero hindi ka mawala. Yeah, and sabi nga nila, if you don't put it in your calendar, it it means you're not gonna do it. But I, <laughs> and I know that, but I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna learn from that. Anyhow, we need to go on a break. But before that, let me let, let me read a few more comments from Dennis Estoriha. Hello, ma'am. Pa shout out po sa family Ocampo and Flores. Thank you po. And Attorney Orly again said. The truth is time freedom. You own your business. Wow. That's true. That's true. And you too are owning your own business. So you can pretty much work in your own time. So that's that's great. Anyway, let's go for a break and we'll be back shortly. How to join the game. 1. Watch the live show and listen to the conversations. 2. Participate and share your experiences on the topic during the live show. 3. Type your thoughts or experience via comment section. 4. All participants are eligible to win a prize. 5. The more comments. In a world filled with fleeting moments, there's beauty waiting to be captured. My name is Christian, and I specialize in immortalizing your most precious memories. From elegant weddings, to vibrant events, and timeless portraits, I am here to make every moment unforgettable. Let me tell your story through the lens. Contact me today, and let's create magic together. Welcome back. And another comment from Elmi or Amy Ligot. Hello, watching from San Jose, Batangas, Philippines. Thank you both for watching. My cousin, my Ate Milen. Oh, thank you for watching, Po. Now, let's talk about Lawin. Because I know this is your most recent endeavor, right? What what inspired you to create Lawin Media Network? And can you tell the viewers what Lawin is all about. And maybe we can get in um, 
one of our board of directors too, or both of them? Can we get both of them in to join us? Well, I'm not sure if they're here, but um, okay. So for your first question, MJ, yeah. what was your first question again? What inspired <laughs> you? What inspired you to create or to, you know, to you're the founder of Lawin Media Network, obviously, but. I want to say, I want to ask, what inspired you to do this? Because, you know, there's a media is, is a little bit hard. I mean, it's hard because it's it's like you got to have the the real passion for it. And what inspired you to do it? Well, actually, this is not just me. So I have to uh, credit um, attorney early on this one. <laughs> because when we were talking one time, oh, we, we, we said, uh, why don't we do this, right? And... Um, of course, it's a lot of conversation, but the simple answer to that question uh, is, "Tayo wala eh. Wala pa tayo nito dito sa Houston. <laughs> wala pang ganito sa Houston. Okay. So we gotta, tiba sabi ko kanina, um, if you want change, you have to start it from within you, mm -hmm. So we have to do something, dahil wala eh, wala pa tayo nito dito. Mm -hmm. So we have to start the change by putting one by creating one mm -hmm. so that's how lawin the, the at least the idea came about mm -hmm. ngayon um as to the name syempre marami nang ano yun um kwento yung bakit lawin di ba mm -hmm. um pero yung part na lang siguro na gusto kong i-share is yung uh lawin is um hawk yan di ba sa philippines mm -hmm. di ba uh, so Pagka ikaw ay Pilipino at nabasa mo ang lawin, alam mong Filipino yan, right? Mm -hmm. So that's how we like, oh sige, lawin na lang gamitin natin. Kasi if you're Filipino, you will know mm -hmm. that this is a company or a media uh, network founded by Filipinos for the Filipino community. And of course, not just Filipino community, at, you know, lahat na rin. Mm -hmm. So that's how the lawin uh, started, at least yung inception niya. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I think Christian's already here. So let's, uh, Christian, uh, please join us. Yeah. So, and I'm just so privileged, actually. Yes. Now, when you talk to me about it, I'm like, wow. I mean, it's like, it seems like, I, because I believe, you know, in my own personal faith, I believe God brings people in our lives that will help us actually realize our dreams, our aspirations in life. And, you know, as I've shared too, I've been, I took mass communication journalism in UP College Baguio for a semester only. <laughs> a semester only because everybody thought I would go into journalism because I grew up in public speaking, da 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 da, right? So, and then I was given the opportunity to become part of a previous, you know, a TV show in the here too for the Filipino American community. And now here you are, Attorney Orly, and you, and it's like, wow. I mean, I couldn't believe I'm being offered. I mean, this is just right in front of me. And it's like, who am I to say no, right? Who am I? I'm like, so I'm just so grateful. So thank you for having me in one of the founding members of Lawin Media Network and giving this platform for me to actually, you know, help people in this in this way as you said we can help others we can make a difference in the world in many different ways and this is one of it so i'm just so glad and of course we have our coo uh vice president for operations right technical operations yeah that's christian Hello, christian yeah. is our pp for operation yeah no good conversation Conversation. I, I too was, I want to say, like, also was inspired by Tony Eileen and, and, you know, we've worked with like a lot of Filipino organizations here. Some of them, well, you know what? I'll, I'll just say that I can trust, I feel like I can trust Attorney Eileen and Attorney Orly and people <laughs> in here. So, yeah, that says, that says a lot. Actually, uh, you know, what there's I'm... a lot of people you can't trust, and, you know, it's. I think Christian's Wi-Fi is acting up, I know Christian. But um, what I really wanted to say is, it's not just the two of us, see, Attorney Early at the call. Uh, we are all uh, co-founders of this. Remember when we uh, we reached out to you, 
and you said yes i knew already that you know this is how we're gonna make it happen because di ba nga, we must be the change we wish to see in the world mm -hmm. so um inception kami lang yung simula but we founded of itong, itong lawin and just to mention i well i think we haven't mentioned it yet that lawin media network is a non profit corporation mm -hmm. so you're not just nothing so this is actually community service that we're doing right now mm -hmm. and um and if you see this is not just live show it is not just podcast it is more than live show and podcast um but of course the primary goal is to inform and entertain people because you know filipinos we love knowledge because knowledge yeah. is power yeah. right yeah. and we love to be entertained mm -hmm. that's what we need here because nga ang dami dami ng mga stress natin sa buhay you know mm -hmm. we gotta have to have something that is informative and at the same time entertaining mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so um yun yung pinaka main concept niyang ng, ng lawin anything else you want to uh, add to that one christian mj well, and at the same time nga, we are here to inspire people. Kasi diba, there are a lot of people out there na parang they feel like their life don't count or doesn't count, diba? And in here, we are giving a platform for those people who want to share these stories, who want to be heard, who want to be seen. Because just by raising their voices and making their story known, they will inspire people. So we, as in Lawin, we have provided this platform, not just for people who already are successful, but even for common people like us, like me, like, you know, I'm not a, a great somebody out there. I'm just a, a nurse practitioner. I'm just a nurse, but I have a story that I can share. And for the guests that we have on our show, they also have their stories that they can share. And who knows, somebody might just be waiting for that story to be heard. And that will actually make a change in their life because, you know, I've had people in my life that I encountered that have shared something that just, wow, that is so profound. That is so inspiring, just like what you have shared. So, yeah. And so what do viewers expect from uh, from Lawin, Attorney Eileen? Ay, marami, of course. Um, <laughs> where are you growing? I mean, I'm, I'm impressed um, about the, the growth. Mm -hmm. that we are you know we're, we're experiencing right now you know here in Lawin, it's public service right community service that we're trying to do we're trying to uh make a change for a better life and also we want to be at the platform for uh, to give chances to others to show their talents to uh to, to do what their best at. like mm -hmm. if you're good in uh, giving advice we have a platform for you if you're good in inspiring people we have a platform for you good thing about this is it's non-profit so you know right now right now we're really doing this for free and um as long as we can honestly because this is our advocacy um but we encourage you also to join us in um growing lawi because mm -hmm. when we grow you grow when we prosper you prosper because this is for you all we're doing here is not just for us it's for all of us mm -hmm. um so if you if you want to join us you want to share what you have with us don't hesitate to reach out you can always send us a message you have a facebook page you have a youtube channel right christian and mj yes and we also have a website right so yeah absolutely so can, can you tell us like what are the upcoming shows that people can expect yeah i'm i'm so proud too i'm so glad because we're growing as you said we just not i mean we're up to three programs now so okay. christian can tell us more about the upcoming programs yeah of course uh, sure. people why yeah. not is our flagship but we have upcoming shows and we already have the other shows christian can you tell them about the other shows that we have yeah, more recently, we have Pink Table Talk with uh, Dr. Carly. And we also have another one that caters to teachers here and in the Philippines, which is today's lesson every Saturday. 
And then soon we are gonna have the cooking show with the self-proclaimed adobo queen, uh, Tita Nancy Lumen. And she's also gonna share uh, kitchen hacks with Tita Testuazon. And of course, uh, with all those very useful uh, podcasts and shows, and of course, uh, Attorney Eileen is also going to have the legal treats, which is going to ch- change a uh, format into like another exciting format. And yeah, mentioning those, it's all very exciting and very informative. And your show. And then what about your show? Mine. You failed to mention yeah, yeah, your show. Okay. We're gonna have mine, which is the, getting there. the opposite of everything. The opposite of informative. The opposite of everything. <laughs> which we try. We try to make you laugh. We try to like have fun as well. And uh, yeah, so everything, everything under the sun, it's there. It's uh, like for women, for men, for kids, for for ev- everyone uh, trying to learn, for everyone trying to be inspired. We're also gonna have Nurse MJ, which is gonna talk about you know different stuff that. Uh, it's relevant to like nurses, including like, you know, probably like if nurses in the Philippines want to get here. And also if uh, like the stuff that nurses talk about, like in the break room, like uh, like what problems do nurses have, how the whole community can help them, right? So everything. But also, more, yeah. Yes. If you so, think about more. Beauty then, beauty. Oh, yeah. We also yeah. have. Yeah. Yeah. And one more thing that I'd like yeah, to share. I, I'm sorry. I think the internet is <laughs> driving us all crazy right now. But one more thing that I that would like to share with you is we are launching our online news magazine. Yay! It's a big thing. Actually, it's a dream come true for me. You know why? Because I've been Dubai. Everybody's using phone, right? What's the weather? Phone. We go to our phone. Uh, what's the news? What's happening in the Philippines? phone, di ba? Um, kung saan-saan tayo pumupunta, pumunta po tayo sa Facebook, sa Instagram, sa TikTok, sa, you know, kung saan-saan, just to get the, I uh, know, the, what's happening around us, right? So, the Lawin News Magazine, which is Lawin that news that is, when you want to see it now, it's already there live. It's Lawin that news. Yun ang ano na. Siguro ipakita natin sa screen yan. Lawin that news. It's a news magazine type of um, um, informative publications. So mm-hmm. we have correspondence from the Philippines and from here in the U.S. sharing mm-hmm. uh, news with us. Um, and we are all sharing it with you through Lawin that news. So we have news from Texas, from U.S., uh, nationwide, from international, uh, from the Philippines. We have entertainment news, sports Siyempre, of course, weather, importante yan dito sa atin, di ba? Nandoon. So, we have one place to go. Pero kung gusto mo lang magmarites, nandoon din yun. <laughs> Lawin That News. And, ang talagang, I'm very excited about the part ng Lawin That News ay yung interactive calendar of events. Centralized. Mm-hmm. You know, because my my vision on this, ito itong part lang na ito, is unification. Mm-hmm. You know? Kasi we have um we have a lot of organizations not just in Houston, meron sa Dallas, may sa San Antonio, may sa ibang states. You know, let's say for example, I'm from California and I'm going to Houston this weekend. I want to know what's happening in Houston, right? Mm-hmm. So where will I go? Sa Facebook, sa TikTok, sa Instagram. Pero kung meron ka na, na isang interactive calendar na nandoon lahat mm-hmm. ang uh, events and programs ng different Filipino American organizations, hindi mo na kailangan magtanong. And you it helps uh, also in planning your trips, di ba? So and that's actually yung gusto ko mangyari sa akin na if I'm the like, kaya ako, I travel, I combine business and pleasure, you know? Mm-hmm. So kung pupunta ako ng Dallas because I'm bringing my kids there, sana meron akong maattend na event na you know, I can also do my networking for business yeah. purposes. So, gusto ko makita nandoon. So, I'm really excited about this because this is how we are going to unify our many Filipino Americans organization in That's the area. Right. Wow. That's so exciting. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. So, now our news in your palm, right? Like, like digital. I mean, you don't have to have a newspaper or a paper. I mean, it's, it's digitally available in your palm, just in your phone. That is amazing. 
Yeah. Yes. Yes. Wow. Well, we have a comment from Arceli Estariha. Hey, hello. Good morning. Watching from the Philippines. Thank you so much. But wow, this is so exciting. Attorney Eileen and Attorney uh, Orly. I mean, you, we haven't even had our first year, right? We're like, I know. And we're, <laughs> we have three shows already going and we have this Lawin uh, news and then we're going to have more shows. How did you do it? <laughs> Well, because we are a team, we work together and we are passionate about what we do. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're not just planning one thing, but we put it in action. Because, yeah. you know, we have a lot of great ideas. You, me, Christian, Attorney Orly, we all have great ideas. But wag not sayangin lang yun bilang isang ideas. We have to put them in action. So we have to make them happen. And that's what we're trying to do here as a team. So... Abangan nyo yung column ni Christian dito, yung kanya mga advices. <laughs> and then abangan nyo rin yung column ni MJ about si kanya mga life ano coaching uh -huh. sa ano uh, articles. Abangan nyo rin yung column ko diyan uh -huh. about you know about legal matters and then abangan yung column ni Tony Orly about tax and many others kasi magkakaroon tayo ng maraming mga contributors there. Uh, sa ating um, lawin. Wow, it's official, ha? Parang naging journalist pa tayo, Christian. Saan ka pa? <laughs> anyway, and also we would like to mention too that we have uh, our directors. We have Margarita Trong. She's also part of lawin. Of course, Tita Nancy Lumen is part of lawin. And Tita Testuazon. So they are very, like, they are they have big hearts they're willing to also share their time and their resources and and just support lawin so they're part also of the lawin family and we continue to grow wow with your leadership attorney eileen texas usa is up for a big launch in the future where we have launched already but we are already soaring high like an I was going to say like an eagle, but like a hawk. <laughs> yeah, so... Malawin, lawin nga tayo. So, may tayo matang lawin. May tayo inang lawin. Mga ganyan yun. So, but I'm really excited because um, we are all in this together. Mm -hmm. And see how, how amazing it is when our vision aligns, your visions and my, you know, you know our visions align. Mm -hmm. um, and then we are passionate about it so we do something to make it happen kasi mahirap yung plano lang ng plano diba we have to put it in action para mangyari yon kaya nga nabanggit mo yung leadership ang totoo niyan MJ um true leadership is not about power or authority it's about mm -hmm. service and mm -hmm. empowerment we're all empowered individuals here mm -hmm. you know kasi kung hindi tayo empowered we're not going to make it happen puro lang tayo sa plano diba yeah. and what i love about all this is the use, how we use technology to mm -hmm. innovate. Because nowadays, if you don't innovate, walang mangyayari. Kung ano man yung business mo, ano man yung ginagawa mo, you know, nabubuhay ka pa rin sa in the past kasi wala tayong magagawa. Change is happening all the time. It's technology, inevitable. It's so inevitable. Kung ano anong ginagawa ng AI sa atin. Mm -hmm. You know, hindi mo na pwedeng sabihin na, hindi mo na pwedeng baliwalay ng mga yan eh. So you just have to find a way to use them for for good cause, mm -hmm. you know, for a better change mm -hmm. in life. But Christian, what can you say? Wow, wow. True, true. Dati ang AI, di ba? Si AI de las alas lang. Ayun, di ba na? <laughs> That's what I love about Christian. And you know how I miss, like, having the show together because when we are together we're just laughing so it's like when i had to go solo that i had to take that bold step <laughs> to go solo i'm like i'm glad that you're here with me tonight and so i know we've gone over time but it's okay because you this know is our show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is our show and thank you for those who are still watching us and so what is your final uh, advice or the final thoughts that you can share to our viewers um, for them to just live fully and do what they they go after their dream and all that and lead their lives with passion because as you said you 
leading or being a leader, it's not about position. It's not. You can be a leader of your own life. You know, you can be a leader of your own family, of your own friends. I mean, you can lead people in in the right direction. But what advice can you give, Attorney Eileen? Kailangan ko pa bang mag-advice? Sa dami na nasabi kong wisdom, ha? <laughs> Actually, um, you know, there's a reason why this show, Be Bold, is our pilot um, show. Ito yung ating unang-unang nalabas na show. Because it actually reflects what Lawin is, you know, and what is that? Bold. Mm -hmm. Why not? Be bold. Why not? Make it happen. Be the change. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not going to happen if you're scared or you're afraid. Believe in yourself. Because if you don't believe in yourself, you're not going to do anything. Right? Mm -hmm. So it's everything. It's, it sums up everything. Be bold. That's what I said to NJ Lagi. Eh. <laughs> Be bold, you know. You sometimes it, it's okay to doubt yourself. Sometimes, huh? you know, because it's normal. You're a human being, but you have to overcome that. Makinig ka lagi dun sa isang bosses na nagsasayta sa na kaya mo yan. Mm -hmm. You can do it. Kasi walang ibang tutulong sa yon kundi ang sarili mo. Mm -hmm. Unang unang mo na tulongan ng sarili mo. Kasi kung hindi mo tutulong yung sarili mo, sino pang tutulong sa yon? Kung ikaw mismo you don't advocate for yourself, di ba? Mm -hmm. You say sky is the limit, di ba? Sky is the limit. So don't limit yourself by saying, baka hindi ko kaya. Nakakahiya naman. Nakakatakot, baka magkamali ako. Kasi, you know, mistakes, it's normal to make mistakes. Because mm -hmm. that's how you learn. Sabi nga nila, you're not learning if you're not making mistakes, di ba? Mm -hmm. So it's okay to be scared. It's okay to be, uh, to doubt yourself. Pero pakinggan mo laging sarili mo. Sino pa ba ang tutulong sa'yo kung hindi ang sarili mo muna? Right? Wow. Kasi if you're doing it for yourself and people, uh, they're gonna see that, you know, you're doing something good, these people will join you. Diba? Parang ano yan, ako kasi, MJ, no? When we started all this, you have to have a strong faith that you can do it. Diba? Magmumula yun sa faith mo eh. So I've learned about that. Um, look where God is working and join him there. Mm -hmm. So I'm telling you also, look where Lawin is working <laughs> and join us there, right? That's look right. People is happy. Well, people are happy. Join them there. As long as it's good, you know, do it. Just do it. Be brave. Be bold. Why not? <laughs> wow, ang galing ah. That was a good speech. That was no, very good. Wow. Okay <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Christian? Anong advice mo sa ating mga nanonood? Oo nga, oo nga. Taga oo nga lang ako ni Atty. Ano sinabi niya yun na rin? Unfair, unfair na ako yung kasunod. Dapat ako yung una para joke muna. Ito seryoso. <laughs> Pero no, totoo, so, totoo. Dito. I mean, totoo yung... Uh, and uh, yes, totoo yan na gawin mo yung kung ano kaya mong gawin. Pero if you need help, of course, you have a community, you have friends, you have, you know, people from Lawin to help you out. So, yeah, it's a combination. You can't help yourself, pero uh, don't be afraid to ask for help then, di ba? Mm -hmm. That's right, that's right. And we have another comment from R.L. Ligot Genganya. Hello, everyone watching here from Sydney. That's my sister there. Yay, thank you for Morgan. watching. Yes, and I think uh, Attorney Eileen and um, Christian already have said it all. You know, whatever you want in life, it's only you who can actually make that change. Because if people don't see that in you, how can they follow, right? I mean, it's like, Sometimes we have so many limiting beliefs or we're scared of what other will people say. But why? I mean, it's your life. Take charge. Take control. It's your dream. It's your family. It's your future. And with God's help and direction and guidance and everything, you'll never go wrong. I mean, you don't want to regret and like, wake up with so many regrets one day that wow i i wish i had done this i wish i had done this 
no matter how small or big that is, you are the change to whatever you have and you want to do in life. So be bold. Go after it. Break the ceiling, right? Break the ceiling yeah. and fly and soar. As so as lawin lang yan eh. <laughs> <laughs> but there's one more thing that I'd like to share. You know, uh -huh. sabi ko, I value education so much because um, knowledge is actually power. Mm -hmm. uh, natatakot tayo sa bagay na hindi natin alam. So educate ourselves. Starts from mm -hmm. that. Start from from educating yourselves. Kung gusto mo maging uh, pintor, di ba? Anong, anong aaralin mo? Di ba? Kung gusto maging singer, anong aaralin mo? Hindi pagluluto, right? So, you know, uh, equip, katulad ng sinabi ni Christian, equip yourself with knowledge and skills. You know, I would like to share with you, um, isa sa mga favorite books ko na nabasa tala, na uh, change my mindset is actually mindset <laughs> mindset the new psychology of success by carol s uh, dweck so hanapin niyo yon uh, it tells you don na uh, it's about your mindset so if you feel that hindi mo kaya then hindi mo kaya kasi hindi ka na mag -e effort eh pero pag sinet mo yung mind mo na i can do this then you'll do everything to make it happen educate yourself practice research find the people that can help you sabi nga ni christian find the support because mm -hmm. you're going to do everything to make it happen. Kasi yun yung mindset mo. So don't limit yourself. Maganda yung book na yun. So I recommend that Mindset, The New Psychology of Success by Carol Dweck. All right. All right. The, wow. It's been a very great conversation with our very own CEO of Lawin Media Network. And of course, joined by our VP for technical operations. It's been a pleasure having you both. I think it's time for us to draw the winner for our show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> will? Yeah, the will. Do we have it, Christian? Well, while, while you're preparing that. Uh, it might need some time, yeah. <laughs> yeah, while you're preparing that, if if you want to, you know, be encouraged more by reading books, I also recommend, of course, John Maxwell. You know, he's he has, like, tons of books that you can actually read and be guided with like i love his uh the 15 invaluable laws of growth because as you have said earlier eileen right if mistakes or uh, failures are actually part of success and the, the deeper the failure is the greater is the growth so with the uh john maxwell's uh, invaluable laws of growth you're gonna learn about the law of intentionality the law of rubber band law of pain i mean he pretty much explains everything why we're having all these struggles why do we have all this pain and what how can we change our intentions how can we change our mindset so if you want to grow more you know read those books he has a lot of books that you can he actually has also leadership books if you want to learn about leadership if you want to learn about communication, he has communication books, you know, and also I have this, I've been listening to this guy. His name is Ed Milet. He has a podcast and he also has a book, The Power of One More. And just read that book too. And I've recently also um, been following Jamie Kern Lima. She's, she's so good. She's so authentic. She has the book Worthy. So if you want to, have those self-help books you can refer to those and just be encouraged be inspired be empowered by these uh great leaders you know they've done so many things in their lives but didn't go up straight to success of course they had so many failures and from those failures they came up and they rise above those failures they overcame those failures so yeah, I mean, I, we're just here. I also encourage them, MJ, to watch yeah. your previous episodes because mm -hmm. you talk about those, uh, you know, um, laws from, mm -hmm. by, from the book of Jen Maxwell. Yeah. So, by the way, uh, if you want to watch the previous episodes of Be Bold or other uh, shows here in Laui, because you're not available during the live show like this, you can still watch the recorded uh, live shows uh, when you go to Lawin Media Network uh, Facebook page and YouTube channel. So make sure you follow, you like, you subscribe. Right. Yes. And also, um, doon din sa ating Lawin that news. Subscribe mm -hmm. so that you will get notification if there's a, a new 
uh, a, a new publication there. Mm -hmm. So la remember you're not allowing that news. <laughs> I also have to remember that myself. You know? Yes, yes. Are we ready, Christian, for our... All right, okay. so let's show them. Let's well, let's will the <laughs> turn the wheel. Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. All right. Yeah. Yay. Okay. All right. Spin, spin. Let's see who's going to be the winner. All right. Is that final or? It okay. will show their the name, right? There. Okay. Joan Estarija, congratulations. Congratulations, Joan. Yeah, and please share the show to your friends, okay? And you'll get your prize. Uh, I'll, I'll send you a message and we'll let you know your prize. Congratulations again. Well, to you, Attorney Eileen, and to you, Christian, Thank you so much for your time and thank you for the wisdom that you have shared to our viewers tonight. And to all our viewers out there, don't forget, be bold, why not? Every Monday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time and 8 a.m. Philippine Time. Go out there, follow your dream, go after whatever your heart desires. Be bold, why not? Good night, everyone. Night. Bye. Bye.